We back in this thing. We back in this thing. Part two. Ay, ay. Part two. Ay, ay. Okay, now let's get into the video. <laughs> from the down below today we will be packing again for college but in this video i'll be doing my clothes if you saw my video from before this if you didn't it'll be in the i cards and in the description box down below last time we packed all my items for school like all the stuff that i bought and now we're gonna pack clothes because that's a whole nother situation so like i said before in the other video i'm trying to pack like this year because i did pack a whole lot last year so i'm gonna attempt to not take my whole life over there and we're gonna see how that turns out so y'all already see we are in front of the dresser we're gonna go through all these things and take out clothes and then i will show you guys what i decide to take out and how much of everything and why i decide to take certain things out once we're done Okay, y'all, so I just finished going through all of my folded clothes. I feel like I have a good amount of stuff. I don't feel like I have too much. It might look like too much, but I don't think it's too much considering that like I'm basically moving to a whole nother place. These are like all my night clothes right here. I, I still have some more that I'm gonna bring, but I need to wash them, of course. Some shorts right here because like I said, it is hot in Athens, so you need to wear some shorts. Some workout pants, seeing as though I'm probably gonna be walking around campus a whole lot again. This is just a two piece set with one, um, what do you call it, sweatpants. I don't see if I'm gonna be wearing sweat, I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing sweatpants, seeing as though it is still summer, but you just wanna have one just in case. And then I have some undershirts, which I honestly don't know why I'm bringing because I don't really wear undershirts, honestly, a lot, but just in case. Then I have some socks. I still need some more, but I have to wash those. And then of course you have sports bras, stuff like that. Then over here I have shirts. These are all the folded shirts that I'm taking, which I don't feel like is too much because I have my white shirts. I like to work out in white and I like to sleep in white if I don't have like an actual set of pajamas to sleep in. So I don't feel like that's too much because I'll probably go through this within a week, honestly. Then I have black shirts in gray. If you've seen a lot of what I post on here, you would see that I wear black and gray a whole lot for working out as well. Then just some other casual shirts to wear with jeans or anything, UGA shirts, because of course I'm going to UGA. And then just some yellow shirts, because those, those are cute. So now what I'm gonna do is go through my folded clothes. This is probably gonna be like the hardest thing because this is where I usually rack up a whole lot of clothes. So I'm gonna try my hardest to not take in a whole lot. I'm gonna show y'all, but I'm gonna try my hardest and I'm gonna put shoes out as well. Okay, y'all, so I have gone through all the clothes in my closet, and I honestly feel like, I feel like I have a good amount of clothes, but I feel like it's still too much, but let me just show y'all. So we're gonna start with the shoes. So I'm only taking eight pairs of shoes, including um, these slides that I have on. So I have some flip-flops, some Vans. These are just some insoles for shoes. My flats, heels. These flip-flops I probably won't be wearing, but I have them just in case, you never know. Rain boots, because I already told y'all in my essentials, you need them, and some sneakers. I'm not trying to bring too much this year or starting out, so yeah. Then, those are the same clothes you saw from before. And over here is all the folded clothes I have. I didn't even know this was dirty, so this needs to go in the wash. I think what I need to do is do a second look through all my clothes, because I don't have too much, y'all. It's just, this pile is clothes with sleeves, and I don't know why I'm taking clothes with sleeves, even though... It's still summer, but I'll look through these again, 
this is pants and stuff pants and jackets and then this pile is um dresses and then i have this over here give y'all a better shot at it but i have this over here these are all of my shirts my hung up shirts that i want to take i'm just not realizing i missed some stuff i just forgot that i have this um drawer of jeans and pants and i'm most definitely gonna need some jeans and i'm most definitely gonna need those white pants because i was just thinking of outfits to put with that so i'm looking at these jeans i really only have like you can stop the tag on I only have like a couple pair of jeans. Oh, these are cute, but I've never worn them. When did I? Y'all, these jeans are cute. I think I just like them because of like that little end right there. I don't even know when I got this, but it doesn't look like I wore it because the tag is still on it. Um. Okay, that was interesting, but I only have like a couple jeans that I wear all the time. I have like my staple one pair of jeans that I really like but for some reason I always end up bringing more like those ones I really want to bring them but because I haven't worn them I'm probably not just for space wise since I do like to stick with certain jeans all the time so I want to take these ones they're like a darker denim and these are probably one of my favorites that I get all the time and then I have the same thing basically but this is a lighter denim it kind of looks the same not gonna cap not gonna cap mm, not gonna lie but what's the difference actually let me see if there is a difference i don't know do i even wear these maybe i'm tripping see y'all this is why i always end up taking 50 million things these look like the type of pants I like to wear, like they come in and everything. I'm taking these. I don't know what the difference is though. I don't know. Because like, I don't know if I'm the only girl or only person like this, but like I have certain jeans for like certain things. And I just have like that one pair of favorite jeans that I wear all the time, which are these ones. But these ones, <sighs> they look the same almost the same what well, they look almost the same i guess i'm gonna try to think about what would my parents say and they'll probably tell me to keep one at the house because literally let me show y'all literally this is one this is the other this is one this other they have a it's a very very slight difference but um it's a very slight difference but it's not nothing crazy enough to where i feel like i need both of them so what I'm gonna do is just take the ones that I showed y'all first. I'm gonna take these ones and then I'm gonna leave the other ones at the house so that when I do come home, I don't have to bring jeans because I know that I have the same, basically the same color jeans at the house. So I guess that's a little trick. Don't take two of the same things. Cause I don't know if I'm the only one, but I be having like doubles of stuff for some reason. I need black jeans. Are these black? Are these black to y'all? They kind of look like a really dark, dark denim. I don't think they're black. And they don't look like pants that I want to wear. I'm not gonna cap. Yeah, these are straight pants. I don't really look like straight pants. I like pants that like come in at the ankle, like pants that are tailored to your body and stuff. That's what I like. Um, I do have these black jeans, but I really need to get some new ones. But I mean, I'll take them for now because they're the only black jeans that I have. So I have a blue, I have a pair of blue jeans and a black jeans. Now I have a question, y'all. Why do we call them pair? Why do... <laughs> I'm so serious, y'all. Why do we call it like a pair of jeans? Or am I the only one who says that? Or like a pair of pants? It's not a pair of anything. <gasps> I'm missing pants. I feel like I'm missing pants, y'all. Unless, like, I either broke or ripped some or something. I'm missing <gasps> But I had another jeans that was kind of like this, but they were more like this. 
sort of because this is more like jacket material they're more jean material but they didn't have rips and those are my favorite light wash jeans and that's really upsetting me and my homegirls right now because I really don't know where they are and that's really making me want to go to the store and buy some pants right now because like why do I not have my pants that doesn't make any sense to me I should y'all I'm so mad whatever I'll get over it I'm just gonna have to go to the store and get me some pants okay so let me show y'all what we're working with for jeans now we're working with for jeans now so we have these white pants we have these denim situation some ripped jeans some in between jeans some of my favorite dark blue jeans and black jeans so it's a lot it is a lot but your girl need her jeans man okay so now we need to go through all these clothes over here i'm gonna try to do process of elimination so i'm gonna start as small and i'm gonna try to put back one thing that's at each pile including these clothes over here so maybe i should bring these clothes over here so y'all can see it too but i'm trying to put it back at least one thing in each pile and then continue to go from there until i feel like i don't have too too much stuff i'm gonna put this away i really like this but it's really bright this is more of something i would wear in the spring than wearing it in the summer going into fall so I'm gonna put that up. So those are like the things that you want to think about. When would I usually wear this color? When would I usually wear a shirt or whatever it is like this? This is the next shirt I'm going to put away because I kind of have another shirt that's like this, but it actually has like UGA stuff on it. And this is more of like a sweater material. I'm not sure if y'all can tell, but this is more of a sweater material with long sleeves. I won't be wearing long sleeves or sweater material for a hot second. So, so I'm gonna take two things. I'm gonna take both these pants on this pile because I don't really wear these that much i do wear them i wear them for work a lot but that for work back at home i don't think i'll meet them at school but i really wanted to bring this it's like a little pencil skirt but i don't know if i'm gonna have any i don't know if i'm gonna wear it this semester I'll probably wear it next semester or something so we're gonna put it up <laughs> but i really want to keep it but we're gonna put it up we're gonna do that at the house I'm gonna take two shirts out of these piles. This because it, this is also one of those more spring sort of things that I would wear in the spring. And this just because I don't really see myself wearing this this semester at least. Even though I really like this shirt, but we're gonna put it up. I don't wear colored pants a whole lot. Like I do, but I don't. So I'm gonna put these away. I don't have any colored pants now, so now all of my color is definitely gonna be in my shirts for my outfits. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back, even though I really like this shirt. It says 100% in love for you. I got this from um, Ferb21. Um, I'm gonna put this back just because I have no reason why I'm putting away, but I'm gonna put it up for the greater good of humanity. No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not, okay. All right, so honestly, I'm gonna roll what I have for right now. Um, I'm probably just gonna go through some of this with my mom later just, because you know, when you're looking at your own stuff and you wanna keep everything, you don't think really about what you're gonna wear and what you're not gonna wear. But usually when like I ask someone else to go through the clothes with me, then they'll be like, you know, you don't really need that. So I'm gonna show you what I have now and I'm gonna show you what I put back and i think i've been packing clothes now now it's just washing the clothes that i've worn for like um different things so i know these pants that i'm wearing right now no y'all can see them but these pants i really like these because these have pockets in them they're leggings with pockets so i'm gonna be taking these but of course i need to wash them and i have some shorts and like maybe one or two shirts and some pajamas that i have that i want to wear so i'm gonna be washing clothes and taking those things as well but I think that's it for this video. So I'm gonna show y'all what I have. Okay, so now this is what I have now. It doesn't like much change, but I did put back a good amount of 
the pants and I put back one thing from over here just because I want to get more into wearing dresses especially since it is hotter so I'm probably going to be wearing those more I have some shirts over here and then some shirts over here that honestly you know how they would tell you to like take stuff for the fall or take stuff for the summer or for the season that you're in honestly with the clothes that I got I can see myself wearing this throughout all the seasons except of course I need to add like sweaters and some more warm stuff for winter but I could see myself wearing this for a good bit so that's that and then I have um I put these clothes away so I won't be taking any of this it's not a whole lot but it is something compared to what I had because that that right there can take up a good section in the closet okay y'all so that is it for this video this has been me packing my clothes for college i hope that y'all were able to learn some things if you are also packing clothes for college or even just for a long trip or any trip at all just figuring out what you really wear and not just what you think you're gonna wear actually like try to put some outfits together in your head figure out what season you're in do i really need this right now can i bring this back can i bring this back to school with me later on and yeah because when i tell y'all last year i took way too many stuff and although my closet was bigger to where i could bring more stuff i didn't even wear half the clothes in my closet because i didn't think about my schedule i didn't think about things i was involved in i was doing step on campus i was dancing on campus so i had practice almost every single day of the week then i was also working as a referee so i also had to wear workout clothes for that so literally every single day i was wearing workout clothes i also took gym my first semester so every other day i was wearing workout clothes so why i needed so many clothes to actually hang up it didn't really make sense because I was not really using them it like ever maybe I would wear something different on a Friday maybe but other than that I was always wearing sweats or shorts or workout pants or leggings so just really think about what you're going to wear so that you don't take away too much stuff and also try to consult another person to come and look at your clothes with you and be like no you really don't need to be taking all of that because you're doing the most so from here all i'm gonna do is um so those storage bags let me go get them so i can show you guys so now when it comes to saving space in your bags and while you're packing in the car everything to save space i'm going to be using these vacuum storage bags that i showed you before in my dorm hall you're going to use these and i'm going to put all my folded clothes in here i'm not going to put the hung up clothes the hung up clothes i'm going to put them in trash bags just hold them so they don't mess up but i'm going to use these storage bags to put the folded clothes in then i'm going to vacuum them so they're all small and they don't take up as much space as they would if i just put them into a regular bag and so they also all stay folded and they don't get messed up in between transportation from here to school okay so i'm just dropping in to show you guys how to use the vacuum bags i told you guys about before so i got these large vacuum bags by Black and Decker, and I just put all my clothes in it. Then you're gonna take this thing that comes on the bag, and you just slide it across. And by sliding this across, all you do is just, it just seals it, kinda like a Ziploc bag. It just seals it together. And just wanna make sure that it's closed all the way. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this thing right here, you're gonna twist it off, then there's going to be this thing in there, but keep that in there. That's what keeps the air inside. You're going to get a vacuum that has some sort of tool kind of like this. And it's going to get loud real quick, but you will see what happens with the clothes and why I like to use this. top back on it as fast as possible so it can seal in everything so basically what it does is it, is it takes all the air out so the bag still is pretty big but it takes out all the air so it did get smaller if you saw in the video 
and that's why I like to use this because it saves up as much space as possible instead of just like throwing your clothes in a bag or throwing it in a suitcase. So then what you can do from here is you can take this and you can put this in a suitcase because it is smaller or you can just hold it like this as you go to your room. And that's why I use these vacuum bags this is how I'm going to be packing my folded clothes to go to school. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. From here, I will be moving in so you guys will see that video. And also, if you didn't see the video of me packing my items and all that sort of stuff, make sure you go watch the video from before this. It will also be in the description box below so you guys can see that video that will show y'all how to pack all of that stuff, the best places to do it, and how to like get it all condensed in one little area. So I hope that you guys have loved this video. I also want you guys to follow me on Instagram at I am Sincerely Drew so we can connect, we can chat, we can talk it up. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you guys are enjoying life the little bit of summer before we had, before going back to school and just having an amazing time. And remember that I love you guys. And my name is Sincerely Drew, and I will see you in the new video. Bye. Thank you.